In my last video, I threatened to take a potion, a, a speed 2 potion, and I never got around to it. Okay, speed 2. This should give us a 40% kick in our speed, and all you do is you right click. It's just like eating. And if you see those little blue sparkles, that means we're speeding! And later on, when we start picking our arms until there's scabs on them, we're speeding way too hard. Oh, no, never mind. I don't know anything about that. Right off we go. I have no particular plan for this, except we'll speed over here. I have a fishing place to fish in. I guess you can get a feeling for how fast this actually is. This is 40% of your regular speed. I am not sprinting. The speed one is eight minutes at 20%, which is what I usually use, because that way you can run around for oh, a little better than half the day and you know get a lot of stuff done. Okay, the other thing I want to do here is uh, somebody ask about the cats. And I'm going to fish and talk about the cats because I don't have quite enough fish to do what I want to do. This is also for a certain person that I was watching in a, uh, I guess they've got adventure videos now, and I am terrible at fishing. All those little blue circles are our uh, potion working. See what I mean? But anyway, there was a, I guess there's an adventure mode now, and uh, some of them are, at least one of them is a post-apocalyptic map, and everything's gone to poo, and food's hard to get, and they give you a fishing rod. And if you're like me, you never learned how to fish because you tried it, and it just bored the pants off you. I've recently done some because you have to use fish to get cats. You need raw fish, not cooked, and nothing else will do, not chicken or anything, which would have been kind of cute for those of us who don't like to fish. Uh, there's ocelots in jungle biomes, and what you have to do, it's kind of a cool trick, you have to walk up close enough that they notice you, but you can't move all the way up on them or they'll run away. You have to move up, stop, see if they notice you, they'll walk up to you and you offer them a fish. And it's a lot like the bones with the dogs. And uh, what you have to do is offer them fish until they turn into a cat. Three kinds of cats, Siamese cat, tuxedo cat, which if you're not a cat person, that's a black and white cat, and tabby cats. And again, not a cat person. Tabby cats are stripy cats or tortoise shell pattern. And the tabby cats in this game are orange and white tabby cats. Basically orange. I have had all three different kinds at different times. Once you have them, if you don't want to do fool around with more fish, which I don't, then uh, you can breed them. You give one fish to each cat, and you have two cats, and they go into love mode, which is a kind of a cute euphemism. And uh, I guess they put on some, some music, maybe some James Brown or whoever the hell it is you listen to while you're doing it. I always listen to rock and roll. But, uh, and you get a little kitten, and he is a little kitten. And then eventually he grows up. Cats have no healing. The dogs where you could uh, feed them meat and they'd heal and you could actually s feed them that rotten flesh that accumulates otherwise. Alright, I think seven will be enough. You'll notice our speed potion is worn off. Also, if you go to your inventory, there'll be stuff about, and I don't remember where it is, we'll see later. But you'll see stuff about uh, what uh, potion you're on, and I think it gives the timer for it. Over there we have a jungle biome. 
you don't add, I've never had a lot of luck in jungle biomes but then I couldn't find my ass with both hands in the jungle biome so maybe that's why you do not want to be click on them with your fish all, right, all kitties sit down daddy's hunting ocelots need to go as far as I know to normal Now, once you see an ocelot, and I'm going to try to mostly avoid fighting, once you see an ocelot, you can uh, switch over to peaceful because <laughs> standing motionless while you try to feed fish to a cat will surely get your rear end kicked for you. Uh, the ocelots do come up here and they do sometimes come on the edge of the jungle over there and they might not come up here if I'm up here so let's go ahead and move back you just kinda have to get to the feel of it I've got another uh, current world and in it I've got a desert temple in the sand and uh, obviously in the sand duh and it is on the edge of a jungle and the ocelots come out of the jungle and come up near that temple and that's where I've been lucky with them cats uh, creepers are afraid of cats so they won't come near you when you got a cat but that's a very variable thing they can they can get fairly close and if you're on the chase it's uh, not something you want to count on Ah, we have an ocelot. That's an ocelot right there. What you have to do is move over to fish. Uh, we need to... <laughs> Let me go ahead and be silly and mess this up. Go to peaceful. Ocelot's supposed to still be there. There he is. Alright, he's headed out. I should have thrown some torches. I apologize for that. Oh, shoot. We almost had him. See how he turned around and came up and I was still walking towards him and he backed off? He sees us now. If you move your head fast, they'll run. Okay, one fish, he loves us. Two fishes, he loves us. Three fishes, wish us luck. Four fishes, five fishes, six fishes, seven fishes, and he's a Siamese cat. Now something I did with dogs and cats when I first got them was it didn't occur to me that by doing the B click thing to, to, or the right click thing to, I'm lost between different kinds of controllers. By doing the right click on, on any of the pets, you've told them to sit. And it's like, gee, I wonder why he's not following me. So now we have a measy cat, and he loves us. And I'm going to have to fish some more in order so I can show you how they breed. There's some kind of hocus pocus in Wiki about whoever comes up to whoever first or some nonsense like that is uh, which kind of, of tabby cat or which kind of cat you get. In my experience, it's kind of a crapshoot. What you don't get is one of the kinds you don't have already. It will be one of the two that you select. Or, yeah, one of the two you select to feed a fish to. Get out of the water, kitties. The kid and I, when we played together, we didn't record any of it, and uh, but we had great fun because I guess it's Mr. Cartman that has Mr. Kitty, and whenever the kitties would be on chests I wanted to get into or whatever, I said, bad kitty, bad kitty. All right, oddly enough, I guess night fishing is the time that I should have been doing it all these years, or this last year, <laughs> tee hee. All right, we have two fish. Get, uh, let's go into the light somewhere. 
I think there's another speed potion so we can hurry this up. You don't want to take cats in desert. They run into cactus until they die. Don't want them in lava. Uh, wherever you go, they will teleport to you. The ice shelf thing or, or, or uh, like a, a ledge of land that sticks out one level uh, deep over water. All right, that kind of nonsense. Uh, cats, just like the dogs did, will swim underneath. All right, let's go ahead and do that inventory thing while I'm doing this. All right, speed to 52 seconds. But anyway, they will swim underneath that ledge and get stuck down there and they'll suffocate. Uh, if you have them on sit and push them into a corner, they will suffocate. Okay, let's do the easy cat first. And one, oh, be an ass. Come here. Go make love to the easy cat. All right, they're in love mode, and they have spawned a tuxedo cat. And it's a little tiny kitten. And they have a little kitten voice. I have two cats, Piwacket and Thomas, and Piwacket is the bossy one. And he insists that there were kitties behind the TV. And then they also purr and do all those kinds of things. Sometimes you'll want them to go somewhere and they'll go tearing ass off. They sit on chests. Uh, according to Wiki... <laughs> made me laugh. According to Wiki, they do not uh, sit on chests in the ground. I'm on peaceful. I can do this. It's been my experience that if they know you want a chest on the ground, they will sit on it. Come on, sit on the chest. Don't make daddy a liar. Alright, all of you just avoid it. They will also sit on your bed. If you go to sleep in your bed, they may sit on your bed. Uh, torches seem to keep them off things. You've got to have both. And like here, so like I said, sometimes you get tired of it. You'll notice there's a cat door. I do know they can teleport, but sometimes it's easier just to let them in. And one of their little tricks is to stop on that switch so you can't access it. With, and they're not bad about that one, but this one used to be right there. And by golly, there was a cat door there. Of course, there had to be a space for the switch. And they sat on that all the time. They're going under there because that's where the wiring runs for this weird little door I've got here. Yeah, see? He's keeping me off the switch. Get off my switch. Uh, I've never crushed one in the door. I don't think it works that way. If they're on a chest, you can move up to them and push them off and open the chest. I recommend doing it while you're standing on it or they'll hop right back up. But it's kind of like not being in Minecraft by yourself. They're not... I remember the dogs pushing you a lot. And the cats have never pushed me. Uh, once you get about four or five of them, though, you hear constant meow, 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 meow. So, if you want to just keep one and, and, and tame an ocelot whenever, it's, it's probably... Uh, I don't like a lot of the sound, and it's only on for the video anyway most of the time. Or if I'm fighting and I need to hear uh, monster noises. So, but that's kitties, and that's a little baby kitty. Uh, I'm going to take a little break and then I'm probably going to go out and, and mess with monsters. I've got some uh, some of these glass hand grenades. I've got slowness and instant damage too. I have mixed feelings about the waste and health potions throwing them at them, but I guess I could. I'll have to make some of that stuff up. If you look on wiki, there's a list of these about a mile long. I guess some of them are player versus player. And there's uh, all the positive ones like speed up and all that. Uh, strength can be made into splash potions. As far as I know, every potion that exists can be made into a splash potion. And the other thing I never thought about, and a lot of people, I never use dispensers very much. 
These, the, the glass grenades can go into uh, dispensers.